you told that was totally fake? <laughs> Sorry. I just figured since I constantly lie about the fact that I'm gonna come back and like start making more videos again, you know, the video that I make my big comeback in, I figured I should make it look a little artsy. My ears are ringing for some reason. I think I'm just really nervous. I haven't filmed a video in a while. Wow. I have officially become a basic hoe and I bought myself a record player since the last time that I saw you guys. So I've been trying to listen to it more often and I did go to like a Harry Styles concert a little while ago. <laughs> the buzz um of that i'm really sweaty is it because i'm nervous or is it because i'm hot or is it both it's probably both so today is friday i don't know the date today is friday july 13th it's friday the 13th how has this eluded me all day another thing i cut my hair if you follow me on instagram this is no surprise to you but i, I chopped off my hair kind of loving it it's really nice I do look a little like Dora the Explorer, but I don't even mind because it's like fresh and I don't get as sweaty as I normally do in the summer. So yeah. I decided that I wanted to do a fun reading vlog this weekend. I was kind of like talking on Instagram as I usually do. And I'm just really into the idea of like a Hades and Persephone retelling at the moment. Um, I saw a fan art piece on Twitter, which I will post here. And I really liked it and it got me thinking about the story and I really wanted to read a Hades and Persephone retelling which I'm still on the lookout for more of those so if you have any recommendations please let me know. And I realized that this giant mammoth of a book is a very loose retelling of um, Hades and Persephone so I decided to read it this weekend. So that's what's gonna happen. First I'm going to get the audiobook on my phone because I am completely dependent on audiobooks at the moment. I love them and I need this on my phone if I can find my phone cord. I'm gonna do that and then I'll start it and hopefully put like a few more artsy shots because you know I wanna I wanna bring my quality up because you know like I said it's my first video in a while. I wanna give you guys like high quality recyclable trash instead of my usual mess you know. Okay I'm gonna go do this and I'll be back. That really was the worst. I thought she was a good villain, at least from what I remember. To be honest, I read the... I should pause this, I can't focus on what I'm saying. I just reread the first book a little while ago. Um, I really forgot a lot of it, even though it's been like maybe a month. I'm gonna keep reading this. I'm not gonna read too much of it right now because it's about to be midnight and like I'm not trying to mess up my sleeping schedule that much, so. I'm just gonna listen for a little bit, and then we'll continue tomorrow. Like tomorrow, tomorrow, not in like 15 minutes tomorrow. Like eight hours from now tomorrow. Moving behind me. I'm sure there are things to help with around the house. Or you can paint. Try out that new set I gave you for winter solstice. Cool for a little bit. There was nothing but wedding planning waiting for me in the house, since Alice refused to let me lift a finger to do anything. Not because of who I was to Tamlin, what I was about to become to Tamlin, but because of what I'd done for her, for her boys, for Prithian. All the servants were the same. Some still cried with gratitude when they passed me in the halls. And as for painting... No pressure. Fine, I breathed. This had become my daily okay. uniform. But didn't have the heart to tell Two Tamlin. cuties. Not Two so cuties. So, happy so adorable. Two books I can finish in 24 hours. Granted, some of them are shorter. It's not like I'm reading six 500-page books. I don't think I can do that in 24 hours. If anyone can... The that I have and is... The are so nice, aren't they? They read. just look so pretty. And that is percent of way too much content. So... They end up being super. windows, and yet the heavy hooded robe remained on. All the high priestesses wore the billowing, unfully twisted in layers, vying for power or dominance, willing to shed blood if need be. It must be a strange adjustment for you. Such elegance and wealth, yet the savagery remained. The high I wasn't Tamlin's mate, as far as I knew. There was no mating bond between us, yet. Honestly, honestly, I am the with her. Okay, so I'm getting ready. 
my phone fell. <laughs> I need to be out for a second. So I don't know what time I'm going to be back. I'm, I mean, thankfully I have the audiobook on my phone and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to listen to bits and pieces as I'm out and about. But um, yeah, that's happening. Anyway, I wanted to quickly check in because I am holy like misery Batman. She is so straight up miserable in the beginning of this and I didn't expect it like first of all she's obviously going through like some very serious PTSD I feel like all of them are other than like that she's just not happy with Tamlin and it's so obvious and it feels icky to me at this point I'm just like mm. I'm about to finish part two there's 11 hours left Oh boy. I think the audiobook for this is like a full 24 hours, so like a full day. But I'm listening to it at two times speed, so I should be done with it in about 12 hours. I'm just waiting for Reese to show up at this point, because I've just... Hold on, let me get my skincare. I, need, I should talk and get ready. So Reese, I'm just waiting for him to show up at this point, because honestly, I've, I've just... I've just embraced it. I am team Reese at this point just because I know that he's endgame. I know it's gonna happen. I know Tamlin at this point is just like trash basically so like I'm not even gonna fight a losing battle here like I'm just rooting for Reese and I want him to show up you know become everything that Talon was meant to be essentially um until Sarah J Miles got bored should I say that don't come for me but you know low key yeah right now I'm at the point of the wedding so I think I think I've seen spoilers about this that like he interrupts the wedding or something I mean he has to because I don't think Tamlin and Farah ever actually get married um so I'm guessing he's gonna like jump in and interrupt she's just so miserable and it's just like wow and he's so controlling and like part of me is like okay I get it like you guys have been through a lot you're trying to protect her because she I mean she died she died and came back like obviously but like damn the thing that threw me off right in the beginning um when he ignores her like episodes i guess like when she wakes up in the middle of the night and like throws up and is obviously going through a lot because like i said i'm pretty sure she has ptsd um and he just ignores it and he would rather pretend that like everything's all fine and dandy when like obviously like she's your future fucking wife she's going through some shit like be there for her what are you doing i don't know i'm just like i said i'm just waiting for reese to show up because the fuck what else i think that's kind of Er, uh, I'm like, what's her name? Not Amarantha. Amarantha's the evil one. The priestess. <laughs> I forget her name. I like her so far. Sorry, I'm putting on sunscreen. Very important, because I'm going to be out and about. And I'm trying to take better care of my skin. Where's Reese? Like, I just want to know. Where is he? Like, I want him to show up and take her somewhere else to make her be happy for once, because right now like it's not fun for anybody I am confusion about the switch in like personality traits all of a sudden but at the same time just like I knew this I knew this was a thing going into this so I'm not letting it really bother me but it's still kind of like wow that's a lot and I need to wear a Lucian too because he's hilarious and so far right now he hasn't been his usual self um and he was one of my favorite characters of the first book, so I really want him to like step it up. Like just ch -ch -ch. I think that's it for now. I just wanted to do like that quick check-in where I was just like, the fuck. got my taco I'm gonna spill my taco oh okay he made the fucking thing explode he has anger issues why is he suddenly such a f oh my god is this how he's always been 
Like, it's just been kind of, like, downplayed a little bit in the first one. I, during my reread, I didn't really like him as much as I did the first time. Because he did have, like, controlling tendencies and stuff. But, like, this is just turned up, like, a hundred notches. Like, what? Lucian, he needs to do something about this. It's his friend. Like, I, what is he? In my mind, I keep trying to, like, justify or not necessarily justify, but like explain his behavior where it's like, okay, well obviously he's going through some fucking trauma too. Everybody is at this point. Cause Amarantha just tortured them for so many years. But like that doesn't give him the right to be such a dick. And I get he's trying to get back to normal and he's trying to bring peace to his land, to his people or whatever. But you don't do that by becoming a tyrant, like a different version of the tyrant that Amarantha was. I don't know, it's just, it's annoying me and I really need Lucian to like step up and just like punch his friend or something, like he, he needs it at this point. I checked to see like what page I was in and I am on, currently on chapter 9, I'm on page 103 at the moment. So, <laughs> look at that, it's like barely a dent but I'm, I'm getting through it. I don't know what else to say, I feel like this entire vlog is just gonna be me going like what the fuck is Tamlin thinking, like what is going on, like I just want her to go back to Reese at this point like with Reese she was happy she slept she ate she was learning how to read even if it was just like Reese is wonderful Reese is da 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 like you know it was cute Reese is still a little bit of a dick because of what he did earlier but at least him I see a little bit more of like a redemption arc in his future than like with Tamlin at this point okay I need to finish eating my last taco and then I'm gonna change and go so Ooh, okay oh lord ranting about Tamlin and what a piece of doo-doo he is see, because I'm just I'm, I'm over it I'm a hundred pages into this damn book and I just want him gone like I'm just I'm tired of him he, his like controlling and abusive ways and I just <sighs> I get that they're going through trauma, but there's better ways of dealing with the situation than like not talking and just like fucking all the time. Like, you have things to deal with, to work through it, damn it. I'm just, I'm over it. Like, I just, I want her to spend the leftover 900 pages or however many, I think it's like 500 pages left of this damn book. I just want her to be at the night court and I want Reese to like feed her and help her sleep and hopefully get her to paint again. Like, I just. <sighs> been a while since I've read this passionate about a book so I'm just oh I'm like panting because I've been ranting this entire time I'm so sorry I feel like this is gonna be the entirety of the rest of this vlog just me being really frustrated at Tamlin and just like waiting for him to like fall off a cliff or something I don't know I'm just I'm tired <laughs> and now I gotta go Obviously, I'm eating pasta. I am putting off eating pasta to film this part of the vlog just because I feel very strongly about it. Um, oh, actually, hold on. I am hungry. Let me just... I have so many feelings about Tamlin. Most of them, not great, to be honest. But I do have something else that I want to discuss because I was thinking about it on the bus on the way here. Basically, I am very, very, very annoyed with Tamlin because he is such a asshole straight up he is super controlling he is borderline abusive at this point he is fucking stubborn and refuses to let Farah like deal with everything that she has to deal with he, he refuses to even acknowledge anything and he is so hell-bent on being this like protector figure that he completely takes away all of her autonomy and it, it's just 
oh it's so fucking frustrating and the entire basically like the first half of the day since I started it I was just like very very upset with him and I was I still am I still I'm like over him as a character by now there it is okay I'm on page 192 right now so I am about maybe a fourth of the way in so at this point I have already met the rice hands uh, and like crew like Cassian and all of them um, and one thing that like felt particularly jarring to me should I turn off my AC it's too hot to turn off the AC I'm sorry <laughs> yeah one thing that felt particularly jarring to me was that it seems very very uh, evident that Sarah is very much trying to juxtapose these two characters a little too much in my opinion because even though Tamlin was like you could see hints of him being possessive in the first book uh, I thought well I personally thought that okay I need to turn off the AC actually Hold on. I did find his attitude a little like you know red flaggy if that makes sense um with my reread but I thought that it was maybe a little justified considering he was trying to keep Farrah safe and there, there was there was high stakes for that so I was like okay maybe I can kind of see where he's coming from in this book you realize that no he's just kind of always been a douche and he is um he takes his role of protector and like his manly duties as one would say very very seriously and the thing that bothered me with that is that he it's told very clearly from the beginning there's no um high lady in the spring court right that basically right away we're told women don't have as much power in the spring court and then that is juxtaposed um in the night court right Reese's the night court yeah Reese's is the night court um where it's like oh but like Tamlin doesn't want to go against the status quo he believes in like tradition and he wants to like you know he's very low-key misogynistic a little bit and then Reese all of a sudden it's like no but look at Reese the people closest to him are women they're like bastards of like not noble birth or anything and like it seems very purposeful but what annoyed me about that is that it's almost as if like all of a sudden Sarah is just completely trying to tear down Tamlin as a character so that like nobody could love him like I liked Tamlin in the first book like I said I liked him a little less with the reread but in the beginning I, I enjoyed him as a character and then to suddenly kind of jump into this book and him have basically no redeeming qualities whatsoever and he's just like a piece of trash and like I said I've never had such a like switch in characters in my life like I always stick with the characters that I like but with Tamlin like I can't stand him in this one and I just I'm just a little annoyed like once I started thinking about it that way where it's like does she, like does he really need to be so bad for us to like not like him anymore like does he need to become such a terrible person for anybody like to not like him with Farah anymore like is that the entire objective of this like just make everybody hate him now so that everybody loves Reese I mean that kind of worked if that was the case and I don't know if any of this is making sense because like I said I was just thinking about it on the bus and then I made myself dinner and uh, then I started filming this so I wasn't really like I didn't think it through but I hope it makes sense what I'm trying to say you you go to turn maybe by the end of this I'll have formed more coherent thoughts but it's just it's annoying me and like I said they're very like night and day and all of a sudden like Reese is actually like oh he's like the ultimate good guy who can like do no wrong or even if he does do wrong like look it's completely justified because he saved his friends then Tamlin is just like all trash no redeeming qualities he's just an asshole now I don't know I'm I'm conflicted I just I don't know. do you guys I don't know okay I'm gonna finish eating now I may watch a few YouTube videos actually while I eat because I don't want to be eating and focusing on the book I just kind of want to relax for a little bit so I'm just gonna watch a couple videos finish my pasta and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit so I really do need to eat though because I'm starving okay I'll check back with you guys in a little bit bye This is a really good makeup remover that I highly recommend. Um, I have 8 hours and 12 minutes left.
March. I don't know why I said that in an accident. I can finish it tomorrow. That's basically a work day. I can get stuff done. Be a boss ass bitch. And read this tomorrow. It's fine. So. Oh my god. I'm in part 7. There's 22 parts. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Little remedios. So I'm in part 7. And then there's like. So many parts left. <laughs> he. I forgot to mention this. He locked her up in her freaking house when she's already dealing with like severe fucking trauma from being a prisoner. And he thought it'd be a good idea to lock her in the house as a prisoner, basically. Like, I'm just, I'm over it. So yeah, she's at the night court now. Everything's better. Moving on. That's something that nobody has ever thought of. You have to use it to your head. I really want to keep listening to the audiobook, but I would need to listen to it out loud. And my parents are so home, and I'm not about to do that because I don't know what's on this audiobook. I don't want my mom to send me to catechism school again, so. A little later today, maybe. <laughs> So I have purple onions marinating in lemon juice, delicious, pico de gallo, this still needs some fresh avocados which will be coming shortly, and then I have sopa de arroz with leftover mole, but we're not eating that today, we're eating this, and then refried beans, so all this and then carne asada and like I said the fresh avocados. Basically now going to read, like I said yesterday I kind of started watching Shane videos. I'm still watching some right now. I was listening to music and then I started watching his conspiracy videos, which are, I don't believe any of them, but like they're fun to watch. I've realized, let me put this here. Still really want to try to finish it today. I know I haven't really read as much as I wanted to, but like, it's fine. I was tempted to go to the flea market today with my brothers. They're, that's actually where they are right now, but it was too hot. And I was like, nah, I'll just stay home and read. But I ended up cooking instead, so. That's great. It's fine. I really, actually really like cooking. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, one last cooking update because I just want to show this off. Look at my rice! It came out so good today! Ooh, look at it. It's so fluffy and nice. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to mess it up. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. That's good job. Good job, Rice. Good job. Okay, I know the whole objective of this is like, hey Tamlin, love Reese. And I'm kind of mad at myself that I'm like so into it and following for it this much, but at the same time, like, yeah, fuck Tamlin. Yay, Reese. <laughs> the cauldron is active once more, and that the wielder wants it at full power, and not a whistle that is missing. Again, he said, now striding for the dresser. Had you started to work with me, I would have told you why. I couldn't risk discovery otherwise. Life truly is it a might have been a place I stopped if I were <laughs> I just passed the part where um, Reese showed Vera his memories into Reese. I keep forgetting her name. What's her name? Not Amarantha. I keep thinking it's Amarantha. It's not Amarantha. I feel like so many of these characters' names start with the letter A that I just kind of. Oh my god, all her characters start with the letter A. So many of them do. Anyway, her. The priestess. Pretty much established now at this point that she basically tried to sexually assault Reese. I guess you can call it that. I get that like she's setting her up as a villain character potentially. At least that's what I'm thinking of now. But like if she's throwing herself at these men and particularly she alluded to like the fact that like it might have happened to Lucian and he might have been forced to do the deed, um, which in this case, it, I think it would be considered rape. Um, like does, is that necessary to set her up as a villain? That's that's like my concern right now. I'm just like, was that really necessary? Um, I don't know. I'm just, I have very conflicting feelings about this. It still feels very, very long to me. Like there's so much going on, but like not really a lot going on. And I feel like so much of this could have just been cut and by this point like that we should be like a half point in the book like I don't know I don't know how to explain it it just feels very long to me I'm still engaged I'm still enjoying it 
as I, you know, reading it, that's not really the issue. It just, it feels long and drawn out to me. I don't know. I have conflicting feelings about that anyway. Okay, I'm gonna continue reading. I actually, <laughs> I took a little break because the... Uh, there's a new Nikki tutorials video out that I'm that I'm watching, so that's happening. Also, it's starting to get really hot. I need to turn my AC on. Okay, I'm gonna go finish doing that, and then I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, I'm frustrated. I'm 300 pages into the book, and I feel like nothing has happened. I get that establishing relationships is important, and I am really enjoying um, Reese's and like this texting thing that they have with Reese and Farah and like the paper where they kind of write notes to each other and it's basically like I guess Sarah's version of texting in this world like that's fun I love their bickering I love their like the quips that they throw at each other I love that I love me that you guys know I'm a huge fan of like hate to love relationships and stuff but like 300 pages in like halfway through the freaking book and like hardly anything has happened like I'm just I'm frustrated like I just ugh. I feel like this book could have been condensed a lot more at this point and I'm just I'm waiting for it to get to the good part. Every time you come into my room is when I'm like really getting into the book and then I get distracted. Yeah I know me. that's the reason I came like half an hour later. <laughs> I'm gonna put all this in the vlog. No you're not. <laughs> yes I am. Well it doesn't matter it's not like anybody's gonna watch it. Ouch! If I don't finish this damn book today it's gonna be all his fault. Don't be my fault! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I am confusion about this because okay, so basically they're in the throne, right? And they're just like almost essentially almost fucking in front of everybody is what I'm understanding. I get that it's a distraction, but like Okay. I mean something had to push them together eventually because right now I am 400 pages in. There's still 200 pages. Why is this book so long? But Reese. I love him. I must protect him at all costs. Okay, I have to take a break because apparently the landlord has been calling me and I didn't even like feel my phone vibrate or anything. And I have to call him back and I hate, I hate talking on the phone. 9 p.m. What does the landlord want at 9 p.m. on a Sunday? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh well, didn't reach him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're supposed to be getting a new fridge for like months now and I guess it was supposed to be delivered today but like we haven't heard anything. There's been no attempt at delivery and now he wants me to call the store. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna keep reading. So they have apparently found themselves in an inn in the middle of nowhere where there's no vacancies except for a teeny tiny little room and they have to share. Although I will say, it does feel like there's still, like, not very much happening in this, in regards to, like, plot. I feel like a lot of little things happen, but there hasn't really been any, like, big climax kind of situation. I mean, I'm enjoying it more now because obviously, like, Farah and Reese, like, I love them and I do really, really love character-driven novels, um, so I don't mind just seeing them interact with each other, but at the same time, like, yeah, I don't feel there's enough that has happened in this. Like, it feels very bland to me. I don't know how else to describe it. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it today. So I may end up, like, finishing up this vlog tomorrow. Because I still have, like, a hundred... Oh, I have, like, 200 pages left. Damn, not bad in terms of, like, how much I've read and how much I have left. But I definitely don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it tonight. Um, I might be able to finish it if I stay up till midnight, but like, I have work really early tomorrow, so as much as I would love to, I might not be able to. Yeah, that was one hell of a love confession. It was super long. There was like, it must have been like at least 10 pages just explaining the whole thing. Part of me like, is loving it because I just, I love Reese at this point. You guys know this. Another part of me is still upset about the whole Tamlin thing, but like, oh, Reese is so really really love Reese at this point I just want him to be happy like Farah I don't even care that much about her like yeah she's cool I want her to be happy too but Reese Reese just deserves to be happy so I'm gonna continue what time is it I don't even know what time it is oh it's 11 36 I am definitely not finishing it tonight um but I will continue on a 
few more chapters, I think. I'll try to read until midnight. I'll do the final check-in tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. I'm st yeah, okay. I'll, I was gonna say something else, but I'll just do final wrap-up later. Um, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep reading now. Okay, so I have a few questions about the sex scene. A sentence that I never thought I would say on YouTube, but eh, we're easing into it. First of all, why does every single one of these guys have like a considerable length that just like springs out? You know? That's one. Number two, every time they kiss there's like a clash. what is it? What was it? A clash of tongues and teeth. That just sounds painful. And honestly, doing it like on top of paint, and like specifically when it was like stated that he had like paint all over his hands and all over his body and crap, particularly the fingers, if you know what I mean. Like, that just sounds like a recipe for a freaking yeast infection. Like, this is supposed to be sexy, but I just keep thinking of like all the little details that just like. Okay. Again, this is not something that I thought I would ever uh, discuss in a YouTube video, but. It happened. I was thinking about it, so I'm mentioning it. God, I hope my mom never sees this. Okay, moving on. Okay, I just had two. Another one, just one more. Apparently, their orgasm costs an avalanche. I know this is a fantasy, but really. And also, wait, no, they said that they're in the middle of nowhere, so I'm sure no one was hurt. That could be dangerous in future situations, is all I'm saying. What on earth is a male smile? I don't... I guess I saw a male, like the whole male thing. It's been kind of annoying. But like, you know, you put up with it. It's kind of annoying, but like as you read on, it's fine. But like, what the fuck is a male smile? He gave her a male smile. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I really shouldn't be laughing at this. But oh my god, okay. So you know every cliche like sex scene in description where it's like what is it like I didn't know where what is it where the tip of him began and the tip you know the one okay I'm sure you know which one it is I like this legitimately is like where is it and I couldn't tell where one climax ended and the second began and I'm just like it just made me think of that and I burst out laughing I just find it hilarious I know it's not supposed to be funny but like I'm finding it pretty funny and again, I don't know why I'm vlogging this part. This is going on the internet. Oh my god, okay. Moving on. And then it got really dark. Like I said, I just want to protect him. I want to like feed him warm soup and hug him and tell him that I love him. Like, oh, my poor baby. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I need to stop. Otherwise, I'm going to keep reading and it's like already pretty late. I need to go to bed. But, um... Cassian's a little dick and I'm just like oh I love him too. He's filling the hole that Lucian left in my heart Starting a shade video before bed I was like I'll just watch this While I fall asleep and then I got hooked and I watched another one and another one and another one and I ended up falling asleep at like 3 in the morning, which in that case, I should have just stayed up and finished the damn book, but no. Nesta! I love her. Nesta's great blue stare. Should you choose to remain, a unit of my soldiers will be here within the hour to guard this place. So Nesta and Cassian are a thing, right? Up. Honestly, I'm very, very sad about the city. I saw it coming from like a mile away, you know? Well, not even a mile, like 10 miles away. I knew it was coming, but like, it's still sad. <laughs> like it was such a good city. And now, like not only do does like, I assume like the entire world pretty much know about it, but it's like destroyed in large part because of it. I don't know. Too slow. I laid the second half of the book atop the other. Ah! The middle of power hollowed out my ears, buckled my bones. Away, Why said, stupid? I can't remember staring at Tamlin, at that face I loved and hated so deeply, as he halted a good twenty feet away from us. He wore his bandolier. We made a bargain. I give you over, and he agrees to let my forces enter Prithian through his territory, and then use. Okay, so I finally hope I'm exhausted, but I wanted to film like my wrap up for the weekend. Um, if I can find the oh, I put it away. I managed to finish 
it's um, on my way to work pretty much I kind of expected Tamlin to have something to do with it like I felt like yeah he was maybe like pushed to the side too much um, but like I really didn't expect her sisters to end up becoming Faye at all I feel like that just came out of nowhere and like while I do love the idea of Cassian and Nesta like I feel like those two are, would just be like oh my god I, I, I just I want to see them together I think it'd be hilarious and amazing and like they're so like polar opposites but they challenge each other and I just I, I'm excited at that prospect but at the same time like it does feel very much like they got turned so that everybody could just be very happily paired off and also I don't know what the hell's gonna happen to her dad now like he's just away I don't, I don't know um what else yeah I mean I did enjoy it I did really like the ending I still feel like this book was way too unnecessarily long though because it did very much feel like it was just filler I feel like not a lot happened it took a lot for us to get to a point where like the stakes were raised and we got an idea of like the real danger that is to come but mostly it was just following the characters which like it's fine I like that I enjoy that like I said I would give up my life for Reese at this point I love him but it didn't need to be like what like 600 700 pages how many pages was it 624 pages long and now I was really tempted right after finishing this I just kept thinking about it at work and I really wanted to jump into the next book and I wanted to jump into the next book but if it's gonna be as long as this and if it's gonna drag as much like I'd rather just read another book beforehand because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna get into a slump because even though this book is considerably thinner than this one they switched to like Bible pages for this one they're a lot thinner and it's a lot more pages I think this is like 700 pages I'd rather just have the audiobook but this is really long I don't know I want to know what happens to Reese but like it is a lot it's a lot guys I had more to say I was thinking about it while I was at work but then like it just kind of I can't think of it right now uh, <laughs> I mean I think that's pretty much it if I have anything else that I forgot to add I'll add it into like my wrap-up um, or if you guys have any questions or any comments like leave them down below um, but other than that I think that's gonna be it let me know if you would want me to do a vlog for this in the future I'll keep that in mind um, I do think it was fun kind of like vlogging and doing this at the same time even though I did get distracted and I had a few things going around um, this weekend that I didn't really I wasn't able to focus as much on it as I wanted to but hopefully in the future I'll pick a weekend where I have like less stuff to do or maybe I'll pick a weekend where I just like don't leave my apartment that's like an ideal weekend for me I'm not gonna lie so okay um, yeah, that's gonna be it for now because this video is gonna be incredibly incredibly long uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you like this kind of vlog, let me know and uh, yeah I think it's gonna be it for now. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys